I was just thinking uh, this is just the, the daily <laughs> it's just clearing inventory picking up stuff I haven't picked up my uh, activated indium yet even um, kicking off my uh, fleet expeditions just checking the sounds rig which it is grind to loper captain there's fresh glory available for the fleet I've charted new expedition routes. Prepare for triumph. Hmm. I'm curious uh, if staying in the same system causes problems because we haven't moved to our freighter fleet yet. Um, so I'm wondering if we need to jump to a new system or something. Get better options. Much more hostile system. Uh, so this is a balanced one. Support, combat, exploration, industrial, and trade. Three trading. Try. And a voyage of discovery, exploration. And a support. And a combat support as well. Yeah, that was the crazy gaming guy that was following. It's a good guy. I am. Um, the hotspot that I found was a bit far from each other. The hotspot uh, for the activated Indium and the um, power hotspot. It's alright. It's close hotspot though, so it's pretty good. Um, so. I think I'm gonna go to the anomaly. And then see that guy about the food. Get it now. Also a space station. We have missions. I don't think we've got missions to add in. Speak to Cronus for the bunch of new food that we've cooked. Do you now it's for? I'm saving up my 50,000 now I just to upgrade my ship class from A class to S class. You've been reasonably lucky with hotspots found in A or S class with power that's with interference unit. Oh, that's nice. That is a very nice. Yeah, I've um, I went all around my hotspot, and a thousand units was the closest I got. <laughs> you still ruin the boundaries of the universe. Now I envy you. My heart aches for thousand for plants. Keep data. Yeah, later when I try to do um, more stuff with the base, I think it uh, had some trouble. <laughs> and I was at the very edges of the base. Traveller hopes to make progress. Traveller test themselves. I will help and exchange. Progress for progress. Gold nuggets. No new milestones. Oh, I've got a uh, delivery. Hold on.
Yeah, I uh, ordered something from Amazon. It was uh, a uh, stream deck, but they split the order, so my stream deck isn't here yet. It's just a cable. Very exciting. <laughs> Let's check this out. So, um, garage and creature pellets. So, you can only have three. Mm, the life form sniffs at me with a derisory look, trying to detect uh, the items I carry from Central Air. So, mystery meets to you we've done yesterday. That's about between 40 and 120 ish units. Um, but 40. On average, garage jam. I know this is garage jam, but the primary sen sensation is of utter blandness. Okay, no, no it's, okay, that's not worth very much. Try that again. So you can get a range. Sometimes you get lucky. This is fine work, but refined. Taken to another level, bravo! So 80 nights. Roger. Okay. Let's not move me. One six nine. Two hundred and thirty nine. I think it's total, not per, because it doesn't make sense. Yeah, so there's a new one, 129. Go on, Jam. My bio. Um, I'm in. Um, the uh, data analyst that's what I'm doing data um, so SQL uh, that kind of stuff is on my uh, forte and wheel of time yes I'm reading uh, taking a, a pause here from the game time out time out wheel of time I'm uh, rereading it um, but I'm on book four at the moment so I have finished it before, uh, I think twice, uh, but I'm rereading it now, and I'm building a Airtable database. This is just my background professionally, this database. Um, so I'm building an Airtable database to try and get why I, why I like the series so much, in terms of the... Um, just the world that the character uh, that Robert Jordan built. Um, so I'm trying to translate the world into databases and then try and see if it makes more sense. Because <laughs> it's such a complex world that is built. That I was just like, how, how, how do you do that? And trying to translate it into a database to try and understand better why it's so amazing. <laughs> I love databases. Mind map, kind of, yeah. So I do, um, but Airtable's got uh, a nice way that you can join different tables. So in terms of database terms, it's you've got your entities. So I've got um, a book book entity, chapter entity, um, settings entity. So like locations in the world, and then obviously the characters and groups slash associations as well. So I would have Rand L4, the main character, or one of the main characters, and he'll have a um, Matt and Perrin uh, is other characters that I can link him to, and he's from the two rivers, and so I build, slowly build out all these connections in database terms. So I've got the, the Rand is the char one of one character entity you've got Matt per Matt and Perrin it's another couple of entities and they can be linked to each other and all of them linked to two rivers where they're originally from so yeah it's, it is like a mind map um, 
but it's just structured in a way that you can add different entities as well so I'm, I'm slowly building that out I'm on book four now um, I've done book one to three like that um, but at, th at times it's like I, I kind of just read read it for the story as well um, but it's just like slow going because it's like oh I need to add this entity I need to add this entity there's so many people that it introduces you then it's like I think this is one thing I heard later on I was like almost the very last book they reintroduced a character from the first book that was just like a very side character and that's the kind of loops that I want to see um, with this project um, so I, even minor very minor characters like an innkeeper that you don't know if they're gonna show up again it's like they traveled all all around the world and stopped at all these different inns and they say oh this is the innkeeper's name and it looks like an innkeeper or it doesn't look like an innkeeper and it looks it this way um, just the way that he describes everything and puts like really strong um, characters together don't know if they're minor or whether they're going to be a major part later in the book or later in the series so I ca try and capture all of that still even if it's just one mention in one chapter that that was the innkeeper as an example where I didn't realize this character was already captured I think in book two so this only I'm only on book four right um, in book two there's a brief mention of one of the characters that they met in book one went into this one town one in in the one town um, and I was just like oh, that's just this one character that happens to go there and he doesn't go, go there again he travels to a different part of the world and I thought that's it for that character but in book three I think it was book three towards the end of book three um, a different group of characters also go to the same inn and talk to the same character it's like what it's just that the whole world is actually consistent like that that they can different groups at different points of time go to the same town and go to this or same city actually so there's lots of inns so they end up in the same inn as that other character just randomly stopped by as a sort of setting and I've got that in my air stable database it's like wow that's so cool and that was, was like yeah that's pretty cool and I think there's going to be another few instances like that that is just like I thought that was a minor character and he actually shows up somewhere else <laughs> that's why I'm doing that awesome <laughs> what kind of uh, IT are you in? try to read Game of Thrones the same way after you finished uh, yeah I've got a pet peeve with uh, Game, of, uh, Game of Thrones I watch. I read the books up to where he's, uh, he's written it and then watched the first season of the TV show and because it diverged quite a bit uh, at times I was like hmm didn't watch the rest of the TV, sh TV series I was like, I'll just read the read the last few books when when it comes out. <laughs> Don't know when it's gonna come out. Draw jam, yeah, nice. Just gonna give him my uh, recipes. Don't know what they do besides this. <laughs> that gives me nanos. I could blend this. Forty nanos. <laughs> Shit, well, technically, does not move me. Is it now? Roger. Then. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit random. I don't know what. Give. Realize everyone dies and didn't. <laughs> wanted to. In IT, you've done about everything except development. Marketing, notification, IT, big data stuff. Uh, yeah, I've uh, touched a quant. I want to say I work in a bigger company. I'm a contractor for a bigger company at the moment. There's lots of different teams. Um, 
but I come from a background where I had to do everything. Yeah, but they've got um, like data engineering and BI separate teams and there's um, uh, different teams for like moving stuff around like Azure and Kafka and Google Cloud Platform and 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 <laughs> I just stay with the SQL BigQuery at the moment You have my respect. How much nanos do we have? 5,900. Let's keep playing. Garage ad. It's blended. 150. I think this is a better way to get nanites than the other way that I was doing it, which was uh, buying starships and scrapping them and selling the modules. <laughs> Yeah, that's the other thing as well, Game of Thrones. I agree with you on that one. Everyone dying is uh, like, what? I just started to like this character and now you kill him off? And then it's like, okay, the first character is it's fine. When then, was it Ned Stark, the dad? And then the mum and the all the son, and it's like, really? Killing everyone? <laughs> Not really necessary. <laughs> Like why do we, why do we start to care about the characters anyway? They're just gonna be killed off. <laughs> ah, splendid! Reminiscent of my youth. But shocking. Then reread first three chapters about three different times. Couldn't keep the characters straight in your head. <laughs> Yeah. It's complex. Technically, this is Gra Jam, but it does not move me. Thought we ran out of Gra Jam. We've got 50, or we had 50 that we wanted to give away. Garage and perhaps. <laughs> bland. It's too bland. One twenty nine. So we're uh, saving up for fifty thousand. <laughs> I think, hold on, let me actually just confirm that we are actually losing the Gar Jam. Um, otherwise we're just gonna... Yeah, we've got 18 left. He hasn't given us uh, the option, so we've got the option to give him Mystery Stew that gives uh, a good amount of nanites as well. He hasn't... This is what I want to try, see how much these give. So better sweet cocoa and synthetic honey. We did the mystery meat stuff yesterday. Project. Artist to artist. Re read a whole bunch of sanctions. Other work because of how we finish up all the time. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm not sure if it was after World of Time's finished books, um, but I did read the the Mistborn stuff, and um, what's the other one? There's one series that I still wanted uh, to read, which is the uh, maybe you, you'll know what the series is. Is the uh, I just read the back cover of the book, um, where it's superheroes and there's a Mister Invincible. And um, that one character manage, that's not a superhero manages to kill. Way of King. Um, I'm not sure. 
it's um I, I feel I get similar vibes from uh, the the boys Amazon TV show in that they are superheroes but they're not as nice as <laughs> people want them to be um, but yeah that's a sort of, sort of normal world um, New York type of thing but uh, Play of Kings not superheroes ah no, I haven't read Way of Kings. Oh, now I need to uh, check this out. Hold on. Sound machine. He's done so many though, <laughs> but I've read the Mistborn one, which I think is the original one. Ah. The Reckoners, I think it's called. Epics. There are no heroes, so this is the, the blurb. So it's Brandish, Brandon Sanderson Steelheart. Uh, there are no heroes. Every single person who manifested powers, we call them epics, turned out to be evil. Here in the city, once known as Chicago, an extraordinarily powerful epic declared himself Emperor. Steelheart has the strength of ten men and can control the elements. It is said no bullet can harm him, no sword can split his skin, no explosion can burn him, he's invincible. It's been 10 years. We live our lives as best we can, nobody fights back. Nobody but the Reckoners. Shadow, shadow a group of ordinary humans who spend their lives studying powerful epics, finding their weaknesses, and assassinating them. This is the whole concept of, yeah, people want superpowers, but it's usually the, the bad guys that get them. <laughs> The Reckoners. Let me actually write that down. Give me some reading. <laughs> it's, uh, if people are going to get superpowers, you think they're going to be nice like Superman? Mm, uh, not really. You know, it's pretty selfish. <laughs> They've got the power to do stuff and get away with it, and they will do it. Just cynical me. <laughs> Come on, Jan. Just want to see. So we were at 5,900 nanites. Just want to see how much we've got after we finish the stack of Graw Jam. was quite happy um, in terms of how uh, Brandon Sanderson managed to finish the books. The only um, I want to say critique I had was around the of the first few chapters where he reintroduced M Matt. It felt like he made Matt super silly, um, and later on he, he kind of got an into the flow of the Matt character. Um, instead of making Matt mischievous and um, super, I want to say, loyal um, but very mischievous um, he made him silly which was just like a uh, didn't quite like that but it was just the first few chapters where it's like this doesn't feel like the Matt um, that Robert Jordan had but after that he actually, I think he took him to where Robert Jordan would have had him Go on, jam. Yeah. Wheel of Time is one of my all-time favorite series. Just so long to read that. <laughs> I think I started like four or five months ago on this uh, project. And it's still going. Yeah. Been a while. Started to read the first book in the mid 90s, finished when the last book was released. Yeah. Good thing. Uh, there's uh, 
I, I haven't actually read the, the new spring, which was the, the prequel that came in between, I think, book 10 and book 11 or something. Um, so that's still on my list to read. And they released a, um, I think, uh, I'm not sure if it was Robert Jordan himself or whether it was his estate or his wife. They released a, um, a, uh, I would say an on so encyclopedia about the world and the characters and the nations and stuff. But it was written in a way as if a character from the next age wrote it as a historical piece. So it's not a this is the absolute truth of the world. It's the way a historian might write about events, which I think is really interesting. So you can have a like this is what the Middle Ages were like and um, they might get it wrong, right? Uh, that they actually uh, went and did it in such a way. Uh, acceptable, technically, good garage jam, but not very good. Yeah, it's about land and more rain. <laughs> Also, they're making a TV series now, by the way. I'm not sure if you know this. Um, the uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, bought out um, uh, the rights to make the TV series. Uh, and they were shooting it in Croatia, I think, um, the first season. Uh, but they got delayed by this whole epidemic situation. But there's uh, good like casting stuff on that. And Rosamund Pike. I'm not sure if you know the the character or the actor actress. Uh, she's playing Moraine, um, but saying it's about Lan and Mo Moraine is just the way that that's pronounced. I I was struggling with the Moraine bit, and Lan was just Lan, Lan, Lan parties, right? <laughs> but the character that plays Lan in the TV series, he's made like like bunch of uh, interviews with podcasts and stuff. And he pronounced it as Lan, like I would almost say L A H N Lan instead of Lan. And I was just like, okay, maybe I'm pronouncing Lan wrong. <laughs> and uh, the other character that I also have to, oh, there's a few of the the ones that I have to remember how to pronounce, because in the uh, but at the end of the book they say this is how you pronounce it or supposed to pronounce it is it Egwene and Ni Nynaeve because I kept saying Nineveh and Egwene <laughs> no it's Egwene and Nynaeve <laughs> anyway but for Lan I thought Lan was the easiest one to pronounce like, even that one pronounced wrong <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people saying they are trying to manage their expectations. The casting's really good, I think. Um, it's not characters that I like that pre uh, preconceived notions what they what type of characters they can play. I didn't recognize any of them besides Rosamund Pike. Um, so pretty good. You don't want I want to say peep actress actors or act actresses with um, strong typeset characters um oops did we do a jam? ah so we finished our uh garage jam hold on let me check this i want to check this nothing a par 8200 nanites uh, 3000 nanites not bad stack of 50 just repetitive okay the sweet cow cow which we've got 11 of how much is that 198 the sweet cow cow most average cow quite some achievement 40 yes yeah, so it looks like average for this food stuff is about 40 you get 100 or <laughs> more blandness yeah, that's another 40, I think. 
I did um, talking about the Wheel of Time TV series. They uh, did show some teasers about the. Um, I think their Twitter handle is uh, W O T on Prime. Uh, so if you want to check out that, they've got a bunch of their. Um, oh, one. <laughs> screenshot which was the green on uh, Eamon's field where the basically the first two or three chapters or four chapters plays out <laughs>